about uh, the classification of uh, ultrasonic beam. So we will study about the classification in the sense like uh, how, what are the different different zones in an ultrasonic beam. Okay, so let me draw a picture of this ultrasonic beam. So this is actually the classification of sound wave. Um, you can actually classify the sound wave into uh, actually uh, ultrasonic sound wave into uh, or the ultrasonic beam into three different zones. First one is dead zone, and the second is uh, near zone, and third one is far zone. So how is all these zones are created? All these zones are actually part of your ultrasonic sound waves, and this ultrasonic sound waves is actually uh, created. Uh, or produced by a crystal. So actually, how this crystal produces this energy is that this crystal is actually actuated by electric energy, and uh, due to that electric energy, the crystal actually vibrates, and uh, all these vibrations, uh, uh, vibrate after vibrating, the crystal actually transfers this electric energy into the mechanical energy. So this is the mechanical energy, it is called as sound wave. And it has got three different regions, that is first one dead zone, second is near zone, and third one is the far zone. And uh, what is dead zone means, uh, it is referred to as crystal ringing time. Ringing time means crystal vibration time. Each of the crystal uh, inside uh, any kind, kind of probes or transducer will be having its own crystal vibration time. Okay. And uh, so, because it, and, and the sound and whatever the distance traveled by a sound wave under that crystal vibration time is referred to as the dead zone. So you can't get any kind of defects uh, in a dead zone. So dead zone is actually you don't have to worry about dead zone. You don't you won't get any kind of defects in your uh, dead zone. Okay, next is near zone. So in near zone, uh, actually. Uh, the intensity or the strength of your sound is actually varying each and every time. It doesn't have any consistency. So because of that, you will be, uh, you can find that any defects inside the near zone actually it will show as sometimes as a bigger defect or a larger defect. Sometimes if you measure it, you can see it as a very small defect. So it means that you will get confused of the defects inside the near zone area. There is no consistency. Uh, in, showing, in, in showing the uh, size of the uh, defects over there. So actually we say we won't get any defects inside that zone also and also near zone also. Okay. So next one is the far zone. So what happens in the far zone is actually uh, the uh, sound waves under the far, in the far zone region is actually decreasing. And you can see that the sound is actually decreasing at a, at a particular rate. So it is actually decreasing periodically. Which means there is a consistency for the sound waves inside the far zone. So, uh, so you as because there is this consistency in the strength of the uh, 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 strength of the sound waves in the far zone, you can get any defects. You can get any defects which is present in the far zone. 
Okay. Uh, so these are the three different regions which you will study uh, in uh, an ultrasonic beam. Okay, so we will continue with the next topic in the next session.